Isn't there a lot uh, financially at stake for companies like TEPCO uh, by phasing out nuclear? TEPCO itself has maybe the after disasters, none, none, uh, he, they, they are the competent for the like a compensations of the public. The TEPCO itself will maybe the disappears within a year. Uh, they, they are a maybe, year from now? Yep. Really? Yeah. So electricity market structure drastically change within a year or two, three years. And is that is that a theory of yours, or do you have evidence from the government that that's, uh, that TEPCO is heading in that direction? No, no, it's uh, under the discussions. I, I've never heard that before. Well, it's a it's a it's a one of big stories. One of right now a big debate. As you say, uh, nuclear power has reduced drastically in, in yeah. Japan in, in recent in de years. Fact, yeah. De fact, yeah. But the fact is that Japan relied heavily on nuclear. They invested heavily in nuclear over the years to provide cheap and plentiful energy for, mm -hmm. for the country. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just curious to know why, after the, the horrific experiences of the horrific nuclear experiences of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, why Japan decided to invest so heavily in nuclear power? Two contradictory stream came after uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The one, one is more kind of a more nationalistic or strategic or uh, stream from like Mr. Nakasone or Mr. Shoriki. Uh, Japan should have a kind of nuclear technology kind of a, uh, those kind of stream. And on the other hand, like a more science scientist, they, they are very much pure. Pure scientists. Um, this is really contradictory. Uh, I, I know that some very famous word from Professor Nishina. Uh, he was very respected scientist, and he was. He said, um, "The we are we have the uh, right the the uh, to use nuclear more safely or peacefully." Because we were victim of a nuclear bomb, atomic bomb, it's a very contradictory logic.